and we just have way more buyers than we do sellers. Realtor Steve Thomas of EXP Realty says 2020 has been a roller coaster of a year for real estate in Southern Oregon, but the ride is far from over. We're still getting them into properties, but we've had to be very creative and aggressive and try and just everything we can do to get them in. While demand for housing in the Rogue Valley is nothing new, the Almeda and South Open Chain fires displaced hundreds of households, putting more strain on the inventory. According to Thomas, it's a seller's market with a 14% price increase over the last two months. He says homes in the area are on the market for barely a week before offers come flooding in. Five to 15 offers on anything under 350, you know, and so like everything, everything under 350 just seems to be so hot that like it, it doesn't last more than th three to five days. And that's just because they're waiting for all the offers to pile up. But that doesn't mean buyers aren't benefiting. Because of the fires, he says some displaced victims are able to buy instead of renting or look at larger homes. Even people that are coming from um, mobile home parks, they're able to buy now. And so they're getting enough insurance money that's a good down payment and they have a decent amount of cash to work with. To make competitive offers, Thomas says buyers are waiving inspections, buying sight unseen and paying more than the listed price because of low interest rates. These changes are driving up average market price and continuing the difficult buying cycle. According to Alice Lima with John L. Scott Realty, this unique market situation isn't just because of the fires. I mean, we started the year with a shortage, and then we had the corona, and that created an effect, a side effect here in Southern Oregon. Then we had the fires, and it just exasperated an already difficult situation. Lima says the pandemic and fires is changing how people are buying. Then they need bigger houses while well, they're also working from home and homeschooling. And so all of a sudden, a three bedroom doesn't really work. You need a four or five bedroom or you need a home with a big lot like this one so that you can add on. As fire victims look toward long term options, both say the market is struggling to keep up. The buyers need homes. They're living in motels they're living in trailers. I mean, we, we are really needing homes to list. In Jackson County, Grace Smith, NBC5 News.